Well, here I am, guys, back again. Closing time at the grocery store. This guy, way over there, says that the ice cream was out of temperature, but the ice cream's okay. So I walk around and I look at all the temperatures everywhere, and all the ice cream is good. We're all in the negatives. All of these are well in the negatives. Negative seven here. But then when I come around over here, this one is not good. This one's at 48, but so it's the pizza. That guy's that guy. He he's tripping. And then it's all soft. We've got no air up here. So, I remember this store, and I remember these cases. I believe these are the ones where the evaporators are not on the bottom. They're actually on the back, which means you gotta take the whole thing apart. Oh, and look what I see over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yep, so it's closing time. They're locking the doors and I get to take these cases completely apart. Sounds fantastic. Let's go find the protocol for Rack C. Where at? Oh, maybe up there. Hmm. Yep. Yep, right up here. Rack C. Gotta find the freaking Dan Foss controller. Dan Foss controller. Dan Foss controller. Got a red light. It means we got an alarm. All right, let's see. High temperature C6B and C7D. Right now, 42.5. Now, just for shits and giggles, I wanna see what the receiver level is. Okay, that's okay, whatever. So we've got a problem with the case. Froze up, I'm sure. Somewhere around here, we got a sight glass, it's right there, and it's clear, it's good. So C6B is also at 49, so that's the same one that, that, that's the one, that's the pizza one I was looking at. So we've got one C7D is also, so both of these cases have issues and they both need to be fixed. All right, so let's go. We need to put C7 and defrost. and C6 in the frost. All right, so you see that D right there? That means the frost. Good, now C6 and C7 are in the frost. All right, so let's find C7, because this one's the only one that I saw. Yeah, C6B is the only one I saw that was hot. These fans should be shutting off soon, unless that's the reason it froze up. Uh-oh, might be. 
Look here. C6C. So that's C6. No fans running here, you see? Also, C6. Fans are off. Not over here. See that shit? Alright, so that's why this one throws up. Now let's find C7. So I've got this here. It says C7. Fans are off, so I didn't put C8 in defrost. I only put C7 and C6 in defrost, so this has to be C7. Okay, so we're looking at C8 or C7. So we have one over here also. This one's B. This stuff's kind of soft, I guess. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh man, this shit's soft. Oh my god, this shit's off. Fans are off on this one, though. Mm, okay. Also, an RLT3, stupid design. So I'm gonna use their ladder. That way I'm gonna get mine off my truck, because mine, mine is freaking heavy. So before I empty this case, I'm going to get up there and look at the wiring, see if I can get these fans to shut off. And see if I can get this thing to defrost on its own without having to empty all that shit out. So on these stupid designed units, the, elec the electric electronics are up here. And the fan is one of those. So, I don't know if y'all can hear or not. Probably can't hear it from up there, but... I think you can hear it if I stick you in there. So let's see. I'm a guess. Uh, I'm a guess because based on the way the wires are, see how that one's thicker than these ones? I believe this is fan. I believed correct. There we are again. Okay. I know this is the fan relay. So I want to look for voltage energizing these. So, so right here I've got. My power and my neutral. So right here, I'm not sure if I can. Let me see. Maybe I can. Okay, I guess I can. One fifteen. I do not have one fifteen coming to either of these. Now this right here, this one goes directly to my neutral. This one here. The other one, you see how they piggyback? This one piggies back over to that one, and so does this one. This one goes down, and it connects to that number five part that's in there. But it should be getting power from one of these. And there's actually only two little wires going down there that are the same size, and I believe they both go to that relay control thermostat. So we've got it coming right back here to 110. So if I put apply power to this wire, it should turn on my defrost heaters and it should turn on also, or it should energize this and it would shut my fans off if this was plugged in like that. All right, let's see here. We should get a click and my fans will shut off when I do this. Aha, you see, you see? That means that that little thermostat switch down there is no good all right so there's more to this too so these two is 208 power 208 power comes in it has to be from the protocol is where it's got to come from 208 comes in and it energizes these two red wires you see right there energizes this relay and this relay is what energizes the heat strip I think. Alright, so you see the ice is just freaking growing out here. I gotta 
I gotta get some of this shit melted before I can even do anything. I'm trying to get in here because this is where all my my controls are. If I can get my controls working and get my defrost working, I might not have to empty all that shit. That bitch is frozen. All right, so now I can see what these wires are. So these big wires here is that damn defrost heater thermostat. And then I got, yep, this little pair of little wires right here, twisted little wires, goes to that sensor that's way the fuck down there. I'm gonna have to get a freaking hose in here. Alright, so we got like 150 feet worth of hose coming all the way from the deli by where the rack is. I didn't have to go get any of my uh, any of my hoses though, so that's nice. Yeah, you because know, the door's locked and shit. But we got all this freaking hose all the way over here. Get this kink out. And it goes all the way over there. Oh shit, it's leaking. I stopped the leak. I got this thing on for now. I'm gonna have to shut it off in a little bit. But... I'm not going to record all this. Well, except maybe this part. I will record right here. I need to get some hot water because that shit's cold. Alright, and then I pulled my fan wire up there. I don't think you can see it, but... So I want to get all this melted here, and I want to make sure that my switch over there is stuck closed, which I know it is. Mainly I, I got in here to look at that. One of the big black wires. Because that's interrupting my defrost heater. Alright, so I tested my high limit switch right there. By using a lighter and heating it up and testing it up here with my meter. So I'm going to go put it in defrost again and see if we actually get our 240 volts coming in through here. We should... These ones are already back on and they're they're cooling. Shit, not very good. Not very good at all, but this one's got good air, but I don't know. Let's see. Check this out. Aha, uh -huh. see this is why my shit ain't hot. There. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. Now my shit's gonna get hot. Alright, so I'm waiting to see if 220 is gonna come into this because I don't, I don't think it's going to. But look, if you notice, that one is 220, that one's 110, 
that one's 110 so 220 110 110 now I want to know if my heaters work so I want my normally open wire on my normally closed so this is pretty cool how they got this set up so you see fans right here get power when this is normally closed with this one so we got common let's see what is this go That's my common. This is my normally open, this is my normally close. So if I take this, if I take that, and I go like this, I don't know if that's gonna energize my heat strips or what. Nope. Oh, because I don't have 220 coming. So why the hell don't I have 220? Let's go back to the protocol and see what the hell. Alright, so I found these in the very back. That says C68 defrost, but look here. I got this um, wire right there that don't look good, huh? Yeah, it doesn't. Alright, so don't get me lying. I'm learning, I'm learning about this stuff right now. So these are called power link devices. These things energize these things because you see how they're on? But, are they really on? I don't think so. See, they're not on. You see, you see? See that? We get the signal from the Danfoss controller over there to energize defrost. It energizes this and these. And then you see, we got this right here. Look at that shit. That's why my defrost circuit's not working. I think so yeah yeah ain't that some shit hey at least I found it y'all that's good all right so that's good enough to test let's try this again Look, look, I got 14 amps up here. I did it, let's see, 1459, 1460, let's go see, I'm sure. it has to be the one that I fixed. I mean, it just has to be. There's no way around that, right? Right. Now, I still got this issue about this I gotta look into this. Maybe that's not bad, maybe it's bad. I don't know, I gotta figure that out. But at least my freaking heaters are on, look. Oh, hell yeah, that's what's up. And they're gonna be on across, dude, I think across all of these, man. So that's why I didn't have good airflow over here. Cause they weren't freaking energizing. Or maybe they were, shit, I don't know. I don't know if each one is different. They might be, could be. They probably are. I can't see that many. I can't see that many um, heating elements. Like so, that contact with that 14 amps is going to be for four doors a case. I can't see it being so. They're going to have a contactor for each one. Got to be. All right. Way back in here in the electrical room that I had to open with the little. Let's see. 14.6 amps. Okay, well, uh, that's, that's about close enough. I mean, shit. I ain't tripping. It's, I think it's the same. C6A defrost. 
this one ain't on. It's interesting how they designed this stuff. Sure is. Really interesting. Why the hell do they even have those? Like, why do some of them have those and some of them don't? You know what I mean? So like this breaker, this one, instead of feeding big wires like um, these other ones are, straight out to the cases, they're, they're feeding these contactors. There, we had these uh, things hiding out, makes a little more sense, eh? C6B, that's the one I'm working on, right? Of course. C6B. That one says C6C. Look, we got these going up to C6A, C6D, so man, whatever. They got the shit all jacked up, but. Yo, at least I'm getting, I got it fixed. Right? At least I got my shit fixed, man. Okay, and then it also turns out that my, my, uh, my damn fan delay switch down there that I was troubleshooting earlier, the reason I cut this, the switch that goes to this, it's not bad because if you see, then this has to energize and it wasn't energizing because we weren't getting 240. This has to energize so that it de-energizes this is what feeds this. So, it's like if I still energize it right now, so I'm gonna connect these wires back together like that, you see? And the fans don't come on because we don't have power feeding the common. Cool, huh? Unfortunately, I've got to empty the two bottom shelves all the way to here. It's a four door case because the ice is so big behind this and these four evaporators that I got to do it if I want to move on. After I do that, I got to still. Uh, this case over here, this one on the end I showed you guys earlier, it's not dropping below three. It's having problems. And the ice cream up here is soft. Yeah, it's all soft. Oh, yeah, see, look. Yeah, fantastic. I gotta do the same thing with this one. Alright, so I'm about to work on the second door here. Scooted everything over. Yeah, you see what I mean? So it's defrosting with just so thick and so much that it would take a long time. third one all right you guys I finally got it so it's running now the whole uh, aisle of C is running I had to go into into the first door right here but it was just on the end so it's 305 right now and I'm about to have to start messing with this one because the temperature on this one is actually going up and the ice cream is getting even more soft I'm not sure if I'll make a video on that one because it's 3 a.m. I don't really feel like recording and my phone's only got 18% so probably in this one here and upload it so y'all can watch it in the morning catch you later